Oh, we have a surprise. Oh, I think our surprise guest is here. I don't know if he's going to actually talk, though. I hope so. We'll have to see if he if he gets on the mic because he's 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 very uh, you know well he he is someone who likes to talk. This is a this is a a very famous person who does enjoy the sound of his own voice, and I'm a very big fan. So, but but for all I know, he's just here to sign autographs. I don't know, and I don't want to presume anything. But uh, oh man. If only I had my album of love gun. I, I know. Who, who are you? Who are well, you? Hello, Matt. How are you? I'll let you introduce yourself because I'm a little, I'm a little uh, starstruck right now. I don't think I can even say your name. I'll let you go ahead and introduce me, man. Well, no, I want you to introduce yourself. That would be too gauche if I did that. Go ahead. Tell the people well, well, who you're it's, being it's, embraced by. It's Gene Simmons. Who am I? It's Gene Simmons. We're unworthy of uh, Kiss. Yes. <laughs> it's Gene are, Simmons of Kiss. How are you, Matt? Gene, uh, I'm, I'm well. I'm, I'm sh- I, uh, so they told me you might show up today. Yes, I'm actually I here. I didn't believe it. I'm here at the uh, studios of WMNH to cut a new album. <laughs> wow. I thought we only uh, recorded diss tracks here. You're actually here to, to well, record uh, yeah, something? We're, we're doing an unplugged uh, album here. Wow. An, an unplugged Christmas album. <laughs> really? That's right. A very merry Christmas to now, you. Now that is surprising because uh, you, you are of the Jewish faith. That's that's correct. But, but Shannon's not. Oh, I didn't even think of that. She's the one who actually inspired me to uh, come here today and uh, say hello to you. <laughs> wow. Yes, wow. she's up on the sixth floor right now, uh, she popping is? corn and putting it on thread uh, to get it ready for the uh, Christmas tree. Wow. Mm, I wore out my tape of skyscraper. Who are you? <laughs> by, by the way, who are you? You sound like uh, you're a I'm big unworthy. Fan. I'm unworthy. He's he's an old school. Are fan. you a fan? I well, uh, I oh, I almost. Uh, <laughs> Of Shannon, it's okay. You can I, talk. I, I loved Kiss in <laughs> you can, the 1970s. You can, talk. you can talk to me. Yes, but you know, I'm a big fan oh, of the star uh, power. I'm a big fan of Shannon's work. In uh, there's a film called Singapore Sling. Mm-hmm. I've never watched the whole thing. There's just one scene I yes. do enjoy. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. What scene is that, Matt? Well, there's a there's a I I don't know I don't know where exactly it is in the film. So I don't know uh, oh. I don't know what because uh, I've never watched the whole thing. Do you guys mind if I take off my big uh, high heel dragon shoes for this interview? Wouldn't blame you a bit. My feet are killing me. I just realized something. Yes. Well, I didn't put this together right away. So Ben Dion tonight on the weekly Dion. Yes, great man. Has a live band coming into play during the show. That's why these mics are set up. Is it? Is it you? Is it you? No, it's not oh. me. However, okay. I did write three songs for his band. <laughs> you did. Yes, which he will be performing tonight. Wow. Yes. Did you invent his band? I did not invent oh. his band, but I did create and invent, design, and uh, manufacture the guitar he'll be using tonight. Oh, that's very exciting. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Gene Simmons, this is amazing. It's 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 amazing to talk to you. Well, I, I figure I'd stop by and grace you. I've only, uh, prior to this, I've only met Paul Stanley and Eric Singer. I've never met uh, the Gene Simmons. You met Paul Stanley? I did meet Paul Stanley. Book signing? No, it backstage. was uh, no. Uh, although I have a friend who uh, has met Paul Stanley backstage many times, the entire band, in fact, because he buys the uh, the platinum package when Ooh. you guys play live. And what's his name? Uh, his name is. Uh, should I say it on the air? You can say his first name. I think I know him. Oh, his name's Dan. I know Dan. You remember Dan? Yes. 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 I remember a photo he took of uh, of he and I. He was standing on a stack of phone books so we could get in the same picture with. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. With the boots, you're like seven and a half feet tall. Well, I wasn't wearing boots. Dan oh. is just very short, if I remember correctly. Right. Yes. He's, he's wide, but he's short. Yeah, he's like four eleven or something. Four eleven. He's barely even a, a person at that height. But he's a very tall man at heart. Yes, he is. Yes. yes. Um, I went to high school with him, and that's one of the things that uh, why we became friends because right. he's a tall man. He was very at low in high school. If, uh, even lower. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. I almost yes. stepped on him. That's how we met. Right. Just What's your favorite terrifying. Kiss album, Dan? I mean, Matt. You got Dan on the mind now. Uh, my favorite Kiss album, Gene, is Revenge. Revenge. Yes. Yeah. I, th- I think that's the best you've ever looked. Really? Yes. Now, was I wearing makeup in Revenge? I don't remember. <laughs> you were not. <laughs> I kind of checked out after um, the uh, Dynasty album. <laughs> no, uh, you were I not- was a big fan of my music up until Dynasty. <laughs> You know, uh, you, you, I still can't get over the trauma. 
the trauma that you... Are you going to be okay? I don't know, because <laughs> I remember when, you know, when we had the, the cassette tapes, yes. and we'd get them by, you know, you send uh, 10 cents. Cassettes were very big, yes. And then you'd get all your favorite Kiss, but you just... They'd have all your albums, you know, to get 10 things, and then you're in the club. Of course, you never intended to actually buy anything more. Those were great days. I remember Paul and I sitting around rolling those dimes in our spare time. Wow. Yeah. But <laughs> we'd already been blackballed, and then you guys came out with four separate albums. Yes. Now, what was a teenage Kiss fan to do? Mm. Um, buy all four. Yes. Well, <laughs> I bought your album, but uh, some... Well, I don't want to antagonize you. No, you must have an artistic temperament. I had the Peter Chris one. Oh, yes. oh, yes, that was my no. favorite one. Well, that's um, everyone's favorite, I think. Right. Yeah, what? yeah. Because you matter to me. Yes, and that song—that's uh, the kind of sugar Papa likes. That's my favorite. Right. Yes. Yes. Did that cause any trouble? And why? Uh, we always just called him the Cat. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, a lot of people don't gone. know this, but Beth. Oh yeah. Was my dog's name. I did not know that. Yes. Wow, that's, yeah. that's remarkable. Beth, Whoa. I hear you calling. He yes. was actually uh, referring to my dog barking all night when we were on our first tour back in 1971. Well, I was going to say, I saw uh, on YouTube, I found, I thought it was a hoax. I found this unreleased demo titled Beth, I Hear You Barking, and I just assumed it was somebody screwing around. No, right? it, that was very subliminal. <sighs> Wow. Right. Yeah, uh, That's amazing. More trauma. You know, my girlfriend just broke up with me right before I got here. <laughs> Shannon Tweed just broke up? I thought you were married. No, she, no. She's she's, upstairs, that's my though? wife. Oh, your side oh. piece. Yes. Yeah. My no, my girlfriend just broke up with me before I got here. Well, that's terrible, Gene Simmons of Kiss. You know all about it, Matt. Well, I do, yes. That's, yes. that's very terrible. Right. Uh, and by the way, condolences on your mother. Uh, your mother passing away. She was a... Oh. Uh, she was a Holocaust survivor. God which, bless her soul. Yes, yeah. she just passed away. I was very sad to see that today she before does, coming she, here. She was in an open casket. She looks great in the uh, Kiss makeup. Yeah, well, obviously. <laughs> She's yes. in a Kiss casket. That's uh, well, Of course she is, yes. Right. you know. Uh, as I've heard you say, they say you can't take it with you, but you say, yes, you can. Yes, she, yes, you can. And yes, she is. She wanted to be cremated, but um, we... Uh, didn't fulfill her wishes after she passed away. We put her right in that kiss coffin. Wow. <laughs> um, what, now, who, who was her favorite uh, member of Kiss? My mom? Yes. My mom's favorite Kiss member was Ace Fraley. Wow. No yes. kidding. Yeah. Did it, did it ever bother you, though? That must have hurt on some level. Like, did you ever talk to her and say, Mom, Ace isn't in the band anymore? Well, I was always her favorite Kiss member until oh. the time Ace pulled the stunt where he came to my door dressed as a Nazi. Wow, yes. yes. Wow. Yeah. I can see how that would rub you the wrong way, Gene Simmons. She loved Kiss. it. She thought it really? was adorable. Oh, wow. She said, <laughs> she said, hey, you got to lighten up, kid. That's what she said to me. Wow. Yeah. She, uh, she loved Ace's warped sense of humor. Wow. Right. Mm. Okay. Well, you know, who put the Nazi in Ashkenazi? That's right. Who? Is that a rhetorical question over there? Fan? I thought that was one of your lyrics. Uh, I, I, I'm very old at this point. Wow. I don't even want to go anywhere near this joke. I'm a brilliant songwriter. Yes. Yes, you are Gene Simmons yeah. of Kiss. Uh, I've, I, I've said that. I have this friend, uh, Paul Cormier, and he makes fun of me for saying things like that. I saw him in the studios coming in. Yes. Great man. Makes the videos. Yes, he does. He, yeah. makes, he makes outstanding videos. You know, I asked him, as a matter of fact, if my mother would be in his Celebrity Death video this year. Oh. Yes. Um, I would assume not. He said yes. Really? Yes. Paul Cormier is yes, going to put your is. your mother. I don't believe in him the, in the video. Right? Yes. I, I would. Uh, I would get it in writing. I think he just said that to be nice to Gene Simmons. With Kiss. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> can I ask a delicate question to you, Mister Simmons? Of course you can, fan. Mm. What is it like to be married to an immigrant? Well, you know, I try not to bring politics into it, so, and I don't know color, except for white. So, <laughs> if it does uh, bother me, I just put her in the uh, Gene Simmons makeup, and uh, we take it from there. But I don't care that she's a immigrant. Well, you know, Canada, many people around where we live, yes. New Hampshire, mm -hmm. don't think of it as a foreign country, but it mm -hmm. is. You know, as long as a woman doesn't have a penis, I'm somewhat okay with it.
Mm. So, yeah. I've always thought of Canada as, I mean, it's really just northern Michigan. Right. Yeah. It is, yes. In fact, there are some areas of Michigan that are higher, more north than uh, Canada. Right, yeah. yeah. Most people don't know that. Right. Yes, yes. yes. We actually have a... A personality, a TV personality here, was born both in Canada and the United States. That's right. Wow. Yes, there's a, a gentleman here locally, uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss. His name is uh, Glenn R. J. Bullett. He's the People's Mayor. I know Glenn. He oh, toured, you met him? Yes, he toured with us uh, once back in 1977. Yeah, um, oh. yeah. Well, he was he... our opening act when we were touring through, through some parts of New England. Wow. It was a quick opening act. He only had one song. I think you folks have some video footage of him singing the song that he sang. Oh, yes. And a lot of people here don't think that it was him singing that song. I've got news for you, Manchester, New Hampshire. That is him singing. That really is him That's singing. That's him singing. I, somewhere at home, I've got him on Betamax singing that song live in front of Detroit Rock City. Wow. Yes. No kidding. Yes. See, I, I never doubted Glenn. That's right. Was was this oh the song God, that he per- That's him right there. This is his big hit. Wow. That's Glenn R.J. Willett. Wow. I'm having flashbacks right now as we speak. So am I, but they're a different kind. <laughs> was the audience receptive? Was he a good opener? He was fantastic. Wow. They didn't want him to get off the stage, and quite frankly, neither did I. Uh, Peter White, uh, who uh, he hosts the morning show here, uh, Gene, uh, he says, I used to eat lunch out of a Kiss lunchbox. Hello to Peter White, and thank you, Peter. Yes. Now, was there a clash of styles? 19 the- cents of that lunchbox went to Ooh. Gene Simmons. 19 Ooh. Kiss. Ooh. Only you, 19 cents. You mean you dominated the... Every Kiss lunchbox that sold in the 1970s. You got the lion's share? 19 cents went to cops? Kiss and Gene Simmons. Mm-hmm. Hello to uh, Heidi Hamer, who joins us in the Facebook live chat. Hello to Heidi Hamer. This is Gene Simmons of Kiss. <laughs> but was there, with Glenn, I'd li- I don't want me to, you know, because you know, that was probably a mo- very minor glitch in your long career and storied career. But it seems to be like a clash of stars. Glenn having won the disco dance contest. Let's not kid ourselves. Mm. Glenn R.J. Ouellette, when nobody was looking, was a metalhead. Wow. Oh, that's a revelation. That's, that's right. Oh, uh, Peter White says he loved the uh, thermos that came with the, the lunchbox. Perfect for holding SpaghettiOs, mm. chicken noodle soup, or your favorite cold icy beverage. Yes. And, of course, I was never a drinker, Matt, as you probably know. Right. I used to put yoo in mine. Oh, very good. Yes. Are you Yankees fan? Are we on TV? We are, yes. So people know that Gene Simmons of Kiss... Is on with you right now on TV as well as the radio. They can see the back of your head, Gene, and oh, I. Terrific. And I think being able to see the back of your head. It's, could you get me off camera? It's kind of. Uh, well, I don't really it's have dis- a disconcerting in a way. I don't. Yeah. I, I could just uh, put the camera on uh, Mr. Hopwood, yeah, but that, uh, would, be that would be disconcerting. But now, also. but now everyone knows, uh, Gene. Uh, if they're we- tuning in now, they won't know that I'm actually not wearing my makeup <laughs> or your toupee. Well, that's what I was thinking of. Yes. Now I don't want people to know that I wear a toupee. Yeah. Yes, yes. Right. Well, unfortunately, now everyone... See, I understand, though, you thought you were just doing a radio interview, uh, Gene. That's correct. I didn't know that there were TVs here. Yeah. Yeah, I got caught up when I F-bombed. Uh, he caught it on the radio, but not the cable. Oh, mm. wow. Yes, These yes. things happen. Yes. It's very cold in here. <laughs> it is very cold <laughs> in here. <laughs> well, especially without your wig, Gene Simmons of Kiss. It's right. very, very cold. Yes. Would yes. you like the unofficial Glenn uh, uh, R.J. Olette hat? No, thank you. Okay, mm. I'll, uh, then I'll put, I took it off. I doffed my hat to Genius. But with your permission, could I put it back on? Go right ahead, fan. <laughs> this is very, you're very benevolent, uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss. Uh, it's, how is the 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 uh, tour? Your uh, you've got the end of the road tour, your big retirement tour, right? Yes. Well, as I mentioned to you over the phone uh, a couple of weeks ago, this is one of our many many farewell tours. The tour is going okay, um, aside from a couple of bunions and corns. Mm. I'm doing okay. Oh, very good. Very yes, good. Yes. This tour is uh, sponsored by AARP, so we're strong <laughs> uh-huh. and we're doing well. In fact, next season uh, for our tour, we're removing the neon kiss letters behind us and we're putting up AARP. Oh. Yes. Will it be in the kiss font? It'll be in the kiss font. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Very yes. nice. Yes, it will. Very nice. Uh, and and why now, Gene? Why Why now have you decided to 
make this the end of the road? Well, quite frankly, it's not the end of the road. We just do that for promotion. <laughs> We've probably got 17 more tours in us now. <laughs> wow, that's exciting. Yeah. That's a big relief, Gene Simmons right. of Kiss. I've been very sad. I've for, been depressed. For as long as Paul and I keep it up, we can keep on. Re- drummers and bass players. Drummers and who's the other guy? A lead guitar? <laughs> what did Ace do? <laughs> Oh, your mom's favorite member? Yeah, she, was, she, he, he played guitar. Yes, lead guitar. Just lead guitar. Lead guitar. So yeah. as long as lead guitarists and drummers are replaceable, yes, P- Paul and I will just continue playing. That's a big relief. Right. That's a big. Uh, yeah. That's a load off my mind. Because calling Doctor Love in its glorious three chords and Love Gun and Love Gun, I was made for loving you. And yeah. God gave rock and roll to you. These songs have staying power, Matt. And as you know, there are brilliant lyrics in every one of the songs that we write. Yes. Gen- the simplicity of genius, you know? Yes. Exactly. The simplicity of genius. Exactly. Yes. I think that was one of, is that the lyrics or was that a quote in Playboy? It could have been both. I don't remember. You're one of the most quotable men in rock, Gene uh, Simmons of I, Kiss. I thank you. I know that. Thank you, though. Yes, yes. Yeah. You'll often like you, you'll you'll say to an interviewer, "You're you're uh, an important and powerful man, or or a powerful and attractive man," which is nice. I notice you haven't said that to me yet today, but well, that's I am a, an attractive man, and it didn't. Well, uh, no, I'm sexy man. It didn't dawn on me until the uh, mid '70s, which in 1976 was a big year for us because. When we were on tour, that was the first year we actually started facing the audience. <laughs> wow. Wow, Gene Simmons of Kiss. You you, del- you you know, you say that almost as though you were uh, repeating something somewhere else. <laughs> um, but, uh, w- oh, that's fascinating, yes, uh, Gene I, Simmons of so, Kiss. I, I heard that from somewhere before. Yeah. Yes, yes. As you were going through your archives. You were... <laughs> I was going through the archives. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I heard that in a past interview. I had to bring it up again. Yes, yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Could, well, could I uh, ask a question of uh, yes. Dean Simmons? Go right ahead, so rare opportunity. <laughs> yes, you said um, that these end of the road, road tours, the end of the road tour, yes, these happening right tours. now, it's called Ticketron or Teletron, right now. <laughs> <Ticketron>. Farewell, <laughs> these farewell tours will last as long as you and Paul can keep it up. Yes, sir. now do you find there's a big difference being on the road in terms of groupies, like rather than the seventies? That's what keeps us on the road, are the groupies. Oh, it keeps you oh. up. Yes, it keeps oh. us up. How does Shannon feel about that? Shannon doesn't care. Oh, well, very nice. Shannon oh. has plenty of houseboys that she's dealing with oh. while I'm away. Oh, wow. And um, that's how we deal with things. Mm. Did her? Did she mourn the passing of Hef? She's upstairs crying right now. Oh, yeah. I still mourn the passing of Hef. She's still upstairs crying about Hugh Hefner? She is. She's wow. stringing the popcorn for the tree, crying about Hugh Hefner. Because he didn't leave her the uh, little bit in his will that was promised? She uh, she uh, was given plenty by you. Gene, I have to bring something up, and this is uh, this is very, very delicate, so please don't, don't shoot the messenger. Uh-huh. But uh, Peter White, in the Facebook Peter. live chat, says, uh, Kiss sucks, Gene. So bad. Peter. Can't even get into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Oh, well, shows geez. you what he knows because you are in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Gene Simmons of Kiss. Well, that's okay. I appreciate uh, feedback. I would rather get a reaction than no reaction at all. Yes. Uh, there are closet fans out there that do have to express themselves in a negative way. Closet oh. fans, yes. Yeah, so you Peter know, White's in the closet is what you're saying. and. Paul, as a fan. There as are, a fan. I do have a crystal ball at home oh, that do. I did get from a fan. Oh. And I can see in the crystal ball. And I have seen several times in the crystal ball in the past that Peter White happens to be an enormous Gene Simmons of Kiss fan. Really? Although he might not have any Kiss albums, he has the Gene Simmons solo album. He does. He listens to it, and he has the album cover oh. on his wall. Oh, my. I think he might be expressing himself right now in a way... That's clearly showing his affection for me live on the air. Well, I, I I don't know Gene Simmons of Kiss. Now he's saying, I hope Gene makes Paul Cormier's death video. That's a very mean thing to say to Gene Simmons of Kiss. It is. Fan or not, uh, Peter White. My goodness. Oh, it's it's unbecoming of Peter White. Yes. Well, put it this way. If Paul Cormier should have Cormier, should Cormier. happen to die. He, he's a stickler for pronouncing Cormier. his name correctly. Yes, yes Cormier. And, and rightly so. Yes. Rightly so. Yes. It is a French heritage. It comes from French heritage. It should be pronounced properly. Yes, yes. 
if, if Paul Cormier should die before the end of the year, I will start taking video production lessons. Yes. And I will make the video and put Paul Cormier in it. Wow. That's wonderful. Because he was a celebrity in my mind. Yes. Yes. Well, thank you, Gene Simmons of Kiss. That's wonderful. And and he'll be glad to hear your name, uh, I mean, his name pronounced uh, correctly. Yes. Until recently, I was the only one. I, I'll, t- I'll tell you a quick story, uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss, and uh, Mr. Opwood has heard this story, but... Um, Often. There was, a, there was a day here that, uh, because I'm the only one that uh, Paul knows up to now who pronounces his last name correctly, mm-hmm. and he actually came up to me one day as I was getting ready to do the show... Yes. And he, he surprised me. He gave me a big hug. It was a very warm embrace. And he whispered into my ear. He said, thank you for being the only one who says my name correctly. He didn't say merci. No. Merci. But I whispered back to him and I said, you're welcome, Paul Cormier. And it was a tender moment. A very, completely heterosexual, mind you, but, right. but very tender. We have a call. This might be a fan. Very exciting. Hi. Welcome to Matt Connerton, Unleashed in the Afternoon. We're talking with Gene Simmons of KISS. Good afternoon. Yeah, this is uh, Eric. Oh. Are, oh, it's the entertainment director of the morning show. Boy, you, yes. You're, you're getting uh, all the uh, big guests. How, the how big are you guns. doing that? It, it, it is amazing, isn't it, that we get to speak with uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss. Love guns. Oh, I know. Oh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe his band could, uh, could come uh, down the street. They haven't been there down the street to the, uh, the arena in a long time. So uh, what, do, what do you think the odds of you guys uh Signing up to play at the Stu Arena. Ooh. Can I uh, ask this gentleman a question? Yes, you may. Have, has this gentleman been drinking? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you I, might be I heard inebriated. you guys aren't playing there on your, on your uh, schedule. I saw the list. Far too small. Mm-hmm. Certainly for uh, the end of the road tour. I played there year, year, years ago. Yes. That's years. When the place first opened. But we're far bigger now. Yes, that's true. We need much larger venues. Well, that's quite a disappointment. I'm sorry, fan. Yes, you've disappointed Eric, the entertainment reporter on the oh, morning I'm show. I'm going to have to hang out now. All right, Eric. Oh, guys. No, Eric, I thought you said you were hanging up. Oh, there we go. He Eric, sounds, sounds like he's been drinking. He does. He does. And by the way, Peter White in the Facebook live chat says, shut up, Eric. Oh, my goodness. And Peter also says, can you guys play Crazy Nights? Eric goes Remember to that church. Song? By oh. the Bee Gees? No, by Kiss. Oh. Off your 1987 Crazy Nights album. Did I do a song called Crazy Nights? You did. Well, you... Uh, fan. Where, where's the fan going? Uh, he's. He, I don't know. I don't know what he's up to. But uh, And uh, Heidi Hamer in the Facebook live chat says, Crazy Train. I think Heidi's a bit confused. Uh, she's yes. got her rock legends uh, a bit uh, mixed up. That's correct. That's Fog Hat, isn't it? <laughs> that is. That's Fog Hat, yes. Sorry, Heidi. We hey, did not do Crazy Train. That was actually the illustrious Ozzy Osbourne. Yes. Have you ever toured with Ozzy? Um, I'm actually touring with him up right now. He's upstairs with my uh, wife. Why You'll, can I never remember her name? You left Ozzy alone with your wife, Shannon Tweed? Yes. Is Tracy here as well? Tracy Tweed? Tracy Tweed is upstairs right now as well. Wow. Yes. Everybody's upstairs. Wow, apparently. <laughs> in the skyscraper. The ceiling's going to cave in. <laughs> and the water bed's going to pop. Daryl Dion is a fan of Gene Simmons and Kiss. But when I mentioned you're in here, he just passed right out. Oh, my goodness. He's unconscious in the hallway? Well, there was, thankfully, a bushel of Brussels sprouts. Right. And it broke his fall. And we do keep smelling salts uh, available. He got a case. Of, is it often that men, Gene Simmons, get a case of the vapors around you? Naturally. Naturally. I remember <laughs> once back in 1982, Daryl and I were smoking the biggest fat joint you could ever get your hands on. Cool. And he looked at me and said, Gene, I want to start wearing the makeup and join the band. And I said, Daryl, no effing way. Go away. You're talking about Daryl Hall? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes, Daryl Hall. And then that's why when you and I were uh, speaking over the phone a few weeks ago, uh, I was inspired to do that Family Man song. Oh, Oh, yes. Remember? Yes. And uh, apparently uh, Daryl Hall and John Oates got uh, their hands on it before, uh, before I could. Oh, well. Yes. But you could still do a cover of it. Well, I'm 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 working on that as we speak. Actually, maybe, right. maybe you could include it on the Christmas album that you're recording, like a variation of it, like you know, "Leave Me Alone." I'm a family man, and I have Christmas shopping to do, or something like Leave that. Leave me alone. I'm a Christmas man. Oh, even better. Yes. I thought John Oates was deported. Uh where would he be deported to? 
Canada. Wherever he oh. came from. Oh, okay. Well, I hope not. That's terrible news about John Oates, if I that's follow, true. I follow John Oates on Facebook. Do you? He's alive and well. And well living in the States. Big relief. I mean, He's his, back. His mustache was deported, I My believe. My mouth is beginning to hurt. What? Oh. From talking like this. Really? Yes. Right. Yes. Well, it's a that's a difficult, uh, I mean, that's a challenging job to be uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss. That's right. DJ yes. Glenn's outside. He knows maybe he could give him some mouth-to-mouth. Oh, my goodness. Would you like... Uh, resuscitate you and your career. What? Is is Glenn R.J. Willett out there right now? DJ Glenn. DJ Glenn. Yes. Who's DJ Glenn? Well, he is applying the kiss of life to Daryl. Our Daryl. Oh, good. Mr. Brussels Sprouts. He, he brings him the kiss of life? Is that what you're saying? Yes. It, well, was, it was deeply moving. Well, that is uh, appropriate. That's uh, Kiss of Life is uh, Glenn's big hit. Would you uh, record a version of this for your Christmas album, Gene Simmons? Maybe a uh, kiss of Christmas. Only with Glenn R.J. Willett's permission. Kiss oh, of, wow. Kiss of Hanukkah. Oh, well, that would be even more appropriate. Right. Oh, wow. I love this. <laughs> have you seen the video? I have. <laughs> oh, man. Can I? Did you ever see Glenn when he was known? Shh. Hold on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's hear the chorus. Oh, Evan. <laughs> a new day begins. I'm spreading my wings. Cause love makes All right. me fly. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. You All give right. me the kiss of life. Whoever thinks that that's R.J. Willett and not like John Cicada. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoever thinks that that's <laughs> R.J. Willett and not like John Cicada or something. Has definitely got a screw loose. You no, got, I'm just kidding. That's Glenn R. J. Willett. You got very animated there for a moment there, Gene Simmons of Kiss. Sorry, I lost myself. <laughs> yes. Gene Simmons, as a fan, yes. you've never really come clean about your time at Studio 54. Right. With Sexy Man. and mm -hmm. But I've heard... I've heard stories. There are no stories. Those are just merely rumors. But I'm here to clear them up right now. Ooh, we have a caller. We another, have a call. This another fan. An adoring fan, yes. Hi, welcome to Matt Connerton. Destroyer. Unleashed in the afternoon. We're talking with Gene Simmons of KISS. Good morning, Mr. Carnation. How are you? Oh, very well. It's uh, Brooklyn Mike. Get your love gun out. Yes, you have your love gun out there, Brooklyn Mike. I know P-Dub does. Yes, mm. yes I'm calling to wish... Uh, Mr. Simmons, uh, happy Hanukkah, or as we say back in Brooklyn, because we spell it with a C, happy Chanukah. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Well, happy Chaka Khan to you, too. Wow. Well, Chaka Khan. Chaka Khan. Chaka Khan. She feels it's for funny, you. It's John, that you, you bring up Studio 54. I remember uh, that one day when uh, Mr. Simmons came by, and we I was there flinging pizzas, and mm -hmm. um, sexy man, and... Mr. Carnation and Mr. Cormier, we were all there, and he just snubbed us. We tried to get a piece of him, but it was just impossible. I'm sorry, Bukumek. I was just very busy that night. I do remember that night. I remember even the specials you had that night you were doing. You were the one. A lot of people don't realize this. Mike, I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to air this right now. Mike was the one Please who do. actually, he invented the Hawaiian pizza. Now, I know a lot of people will not like that uh, including a lot me. of people yeah. do like hawaiian pizza banned in canada shannon's home country he did that mm. he uh he invented it only because he had run out of pepperoni mm. he had brought the last stick out back with carly simon and himself and paul cormier and gene simmons of kiss um and had yeah. run out so all he had left behind the bar was some sliced pineapple and some ham wow so he threw together that Hawaiian pizza. Yes, wow. I, that's not I don't kosher. like to think about it. I, you're right. I did invent it, but I hated my. I've hated myself ever since for it. It's just a horrible, horrible invention. I don't know what I was thinking. It's an abomination. And right? I apologize. Mm -hmm. I, I apologize. Well, thank you, Brooklyn Mike. Thank well, you for I apologize apologizing today. You did. Yes. Does, yes. does Brooklyn Mike? You, you know, you know, you who know all things. Brooklyn Mike invented. All you can eat specials when he was the manager at Plato's Retreat. And there are stories about you there, Mr. Simmons. Oh. Oh, oh look at uh, oh, uh, the poker face. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. Now, oh, Brooklyn oh, Mike, you're setting up. Wow. Brooklyn like Mike people. used to work at Plato's Retreat pantsless. Oh, my goodness. Well, yes. wow. I can picture that, actually. 
I, I, I used to work at Pla- Plato's. What? I, I have a bad connection. I'm I'm sorry. Oh, Plato, when you were the uh, when you did the fur- food service at Plato's retreat, my God, is that even legal to do that? Pantsless? Aren't there health codes? Or Pla- well, it was a different time. That's true, and it was Plato's retreat. Think about the pizza toppings. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness, yes. <laughs> a little extra cheese. Uh, whole, new, whole new meaning to toppings, my friend. Wow, yes. All right. Mm. Yeah. I love the Hawaiian pizza, by the way. I think you did a small job creating that. I don't eat it, but I think it's a great idea. Mm. Why well, don't it you, goes uh, hand in hand with getting laid. That's right. Why don't you eat it, uh, Gene Simmons of uh, Kiss? I don't think you should put pineapple on a pizza. Agreed. Agreed. Or ham. On a pizza. Well, right. Yes, of course. Exactly. Right. Yep. Now, Brooklyn Mike, is there any truth to the rumor that, uh, and I hate to bring it up because these guys, that John Oates once tried to have intercourse with a large loaf of rye bread when you were at Plato's Retreat? Have, tried to have intercourse with what? That a large loaf of rye bread. Or is that just one of those things that are best forgotten? Oh, my God. I wish I had a better connection. You so, know what? Gonna, maybe I'll try to call back. These stupid cell phones suck sometimes. Do you have T-Mobile, uh, Brooklyn Mike? <laughs> no, I have I have Sprint, but... Uh, oh, Jesus. You know, it's just... It's not the best. So, I have an so, old phone, so... I'll tell, anyway, listen, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, you what, Brooklyn Mike... I wish we could talk more, but... Um, I love you, and oh, by the way, your your drummer there is from the uh, same neighborhood, is, is actually from the same street that my brother lives on back in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. Greenpoint. So that was one of our claims, claims to fame. Oh. Brooklyn Mike, I promise you this. If you switch to Verizon, I promise I will give you yes. 25% off our upcoming box set. Oh, I love you, Mr. Simmons. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, Don't mention it. Happy holidays and kiss this, my friend. Stay well. <laughs> bye bye. All right, thank, th- well. thank you, Brooklyn Mike. Wow, that was lovely. Yes, and uh, he had nice things to say. Under, unlike Peter White, who's uh, throwing some shade. He's okay. Yes. Peter White texted me. Oh, he did. Yes, he did. He Ooh. also texted me, and I've got the photographic evidence now. Mm. Uh, I'll have to deal with that after the show. Yes. You know, there's legal uh, issues. Oh, excuse me. oh my goodness, Gene Simmons of Kiss. Well, you are getting older. It's probably difficult to control your. Uh... Pardon me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and yes. <laughs> I like the orange flavored Metamucil. <laughs> wow. Me too. Oh my... You're almost uh, seventy now, Gene Simmons. Of I Kiss. am pushing seventy. Hard to believe. Wow. Right. Almost seventy. Everything's still holding together. Everything is still holding together i think the uh I'm, I'm i think i'm losing my uh accent though oh no oh no that's yeah. terrible wow <laughs> oh well we, we you know we we want you to we want you to sound like you uh when you're here gene simmons of kiss to truly have the the full gene simmons experience yes if you and now you've gone on the uh, uh, uh not to not to compare but um i am curious i mean what have you enjoyed more so far <laughs> this is your first time on the show being <laughs> Being on here or uh, or being on the Howard Stern show? Because I know you've been on Howard a few times. Well, i got to tell you, Matt, it's a toss-up. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, this is the first time being on this show, um, being told by Peter White that he wishes I was dead. <laughs> right. Um, or, or something to that effect. Yes. Um, and um, all the other things that have happened in the past 40 minutes. It's uh, <laughs> been versus being on... The greatest interviewers on, on the planet's radio show uh, several times over the past twenty years. No, you've only been. This is your first time on here. <laughs> what do I you was mean? referring to the great Howard Stern. Oh, you're oh the, you, right. You're a close second. It, thank you, thank you. Yes. Right. Is it different being with Howard Stern and then having to like you know mix with the Goyim? It's uh, it's a, it's a little bit of the same. You you interview, ask questions, and uh, there is no um, religion involved. So right. you would go on Matt Connerton uncut in the evening? As long as he doesn't cut me, I would remain uncut. Uh, and as long as you don't cut the cheese. I don't believe oh. you're... Gene, you're Jewish. What do you mean you're, you're uncut? Well, are you uncut, Matt? <laughs> I am uncut. I was raised Catholic. <laughs> well, I... Uh, I well, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, stop. Your fan, your fan is is suddenly leaving. Well, you. <laughs> Bye, fan. 
<laughs> well, that fan is annoying. <laughs> Gene Simmons from Kiss. I almost get the impression that you were just that you tolerate him because he's a fan, but you don't really like him very much. Well, I got to tell you, I tolerate all my fans. Yes. 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 Not not all of us are as uh, uh, enjoyable to to interact with. Well, they could be better. <laughs> Right. Oh, boy. I love the fans who service me, Matt. Oh, right. right. Service you in terms of... Craft bo- foods. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, very good. Right. Very good. I'm sorry we don't have any craft foods for you here. We're actually not allowed to have food in the studio. A little nosh. Yes. Yes. Well, I assume you'll be having a fully catered meal before you uh, record your uh, Christmas album tonight. Looks like there's uh, stains over there on that couch. Mm-hmm. I think Fan left them there. Yes. Well, you know. He... I do have that effect. <laughs> yes. He, well, he, he was quite surprised to see you. Right. Uh, as am I. I'll have to clean this up before Peter has to sit in it tomorrow. Well, I figured I'd uh, surprise you. Yes. I appreciate it. Yeah, uh, my pleasure. It's wonderful, uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss. Oh, who's that? Oh, listen, I'm going to let you go, so... Uh... Paul Cormier can talk to you for a few minutes. Oh, all right. Very good. Very all right. good. All right. Well, thank you, Gene Simmons of Kiss. It's you're, wonderful to meet you. You're welcome. And remember, everybody out there listening, God gave rock and roll to you. Gave rock and roll to you. Gave rock and roll to everyone. Oh, thank you, Gene Simmons of Kiss. Wow. This, is, this has been wonderful. Gene Simmons of Kiss, everybody. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Gene. Thanks, Gene. Nice to meet you, buddy. Wow. Wow, Matt, was that really Gene Simmons? Yes, that was Gene Simmons of Kiss here, I know. here, here I, in the I, studio. I couldn't I, recognize him without his makeup on. Yeah. He's got a lot of gray. He well, yes, and then you know, and he's he's got less hair than I than I uh, had anticipated. Wow. The backs of your heads look similar. Wow. Yes, yes. yes. But uh what a great man and 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 a, a brilliant songwriter as you know you know how I feel I love Gene Simmons of Kiss Yes I loved yes. him in Kiss Meets the Phantom of the Park Ooh <coughs> Ooh Excuse me <laughs> No yo I was I heard him say that he he checked out of his own music after Kiss Dynasty <laughs> Oh wow Yeah he did say that I I was very expected so to hear that me. from him Same with me you know yeah. I stopped I was a huge fan of Kiss uh until Kiss Dynasty and that came, came out, what year? 79? Mm. 79 that came out. I was, uh, oh man, I was uh, 12 years old. That was when they were uh, moving into their disco phase. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And I remember I got that album from my parents on Christmas morning, mm. 1979. And I remember it was the first time ever I had to fake being happy for a Christmas gift. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Usually before that, I was still young enough to go, oh, I don't want this, or what is this gift you're giving me to whoever gave me a gift that I didn't like. Right. But I remember, even now, opening that thing on Christmas morning in my PJs after being a Kiss fan ever since I was a toddler yeah, and having all their albums and listening to them every morning while I was getting ready for school and knowing all the songs on every album by heart. But opening up that album on Christmas morning yeah, and hating that album. Why? Because it was their disco era. Yeah. And I no longer wanted anything to do with Kiss. Wow. And I saw that thing and I thought to myself, I, I can't hurt my parents' feelings. Right. Of course. I, I yeah. was thinking like an adult at age 12. Wow. I, I, mm. I, I was proud of myself. Yes, and yes. I, and I threw the album in the closet, and I think I might have listened to it maybe once. Oh, really? Yeah. Twice, three times. Yeah. The only one song I listened to was I Was Made for Loving You. Yeah, the big hit. Which yeah. is a very, very cool song. Yeah. Um, years later, um, I became a DJ, for the, and I was a DJ here in town for 28 years. Yeah. That song was played all the time. Oh yeah. It yeah. became a treat. It was something that I would pop if I worked in a nightclub, um I would beat mix it in in the middle of a a, a top 40 beat mix session. All of a sudden it would beat mix seamlessly into what the hell is this? Yeah. You know, yeah. I was made for loving you, but when you're beat mixing and the crowd is fluently dancing for the past 45 minutes, um, to current stuff, and when you're beat mixing, it's all seamless anyway. Right. One song isn't ending and one is starting. It's all seamless. Yeah. 
um, to go to something like that is awesome. People yeah. love it. Right. That song also works fabulously at weddings as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, of course. It's great. Yeah. So um, I did grow an appreciation for that song, but I never did really go back to Kiss. Yeah. Um, I remember sometime in high school, Lick It Up came out. Mm-hmm. And that was a big deal for me because um, they didn't have their makeup on for the first time ever. Right. And I had never, ever, they managed to pull off not being seen in public with makeup <laughs> yeah. as far as I, I'd never seen Kiss in makeup before yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. I was almost 20 years old before I saw one of my favorite bands in childhood with no makeup on. Yeah. yeah. And it, it blew me away. And the song Lick It Up. Was great. Yeah, it, it was like awesome. All right, they're 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 doing current stuff that I currently listening to. Yeah, I was into Van Halen and Ozzy and all that other hard rock hair band stuff that was going out going around at the time. Yeah, and boom, Kiss comes back. They got no makeup on and they're putting out "Lick It Up." Yep. So I gave it another shot with them. Well, that's the song and album that won a lot of people back yep. and won a lot of new fans who weren't into the makeup. Right. And uh, quite frankly, there might have been one or two songs on the album that I liked, but yeah. I, I couldn't I couldn't stay with them. Oh, really? I didn't like them like you and Dan liked them. Yeah, yeah. Their, their songs were just a little too icky for me. And oh. I wasn't really into hair bands anyway. I was drifting more to the stuff that you quote and quote once said, you got to really be into drugs to be listening to that kind of music. Oh, okay. Pink Floyd. Yeah. <laughs> Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, which really seriously isn't the case. But, I know. I, I was kidding when I said it. But, but I mean, if you go back to 1967's Piper at the Gates of Dawn, Pink mm-hmm. Floyd's first album, yeah. yes, you've <laughs> got to take several hits of ass. That's more of a sound effects album than it is a a music album. Yeah, yeah. It, it's an experimental type of weird thing. Yeah. Well, oh, I didn't... Because then you get... Uh, <clears throat> I don't even think Dave Gilmore was it. Yeah, in 67, it, everything starts to take off. Yeah, you Sid get, Barrett, uh, the guy who was pink. Sid Barrett. Was yeah. in the band. Yeah. He was... Um, we got to start to wrap up in a second. Sure. He was the founding member of the band, and he was the one who was really, really... Um, Trippy. He was the yeah. band that made. He was the yeah. guy who made the band psychedelic. He was the genius, yeah. but he got he lost disabled. his cookies. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he went psychopath um, by no means of drugs or anything like that. No, they schizophrenia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He already was, but that like what his what he was doing and his influence then. Then you get a uh, uh, what's this me Nights in White Sutton. Yeah. What's, the what's the band? Moody Blues. Moody yeah. Blues. Which that blew John Lennon's mind because uh, you start getting the shift from what he loved, which yeah. is rock and roll. Yeah. And you know, you can right, hear right. it. We got to go. Yeah. Okay. We, we got to go because uh, the weekly die on is what? coming up next, and these guys have a live band coming in and playing. So, okie dokie. Want to make sure they have enough time. And I just said, well, I, uh, Brooklyn Mike sent me the picture. I'm glad Gene Simmons isn't here of him and the large loaf of rye bread. Oh. And I will show it to you fellas. Very afterwards. good. How scandalous. All right. Thank you, John Hopwood. It's thank you. Uh, thank you, Paul Cormier. Off to always, a Christmas party. Always nice to see you oh very good and uh thank you to gene simmons of kiss uh for coming in and i'm going uh, upstairs i'll tell him you said hi oh wonderful and uh paul was talking about uh lick it up so maybe we'll uh we'll close out with that (laughs) all right weekly don is next i'll talk at you all tomorrow bye everybody bye ipmnation.com